it's showtime. Good morning. <laughs> Almost forgot about Beetlejuice sneaking in on there. All right, 65 degrees today is definitely a day to keep an eye on the weather. We'll talk more about that in just a moment right now. The studio smells so good. Thank you, Carlos. Hey, Jamie. We're trying to get rid of that bug that committed suicide in here this morning. Once they do that, Dr. Eric Stanford walked in. Man, what's that smell in here this morning? Not to cooking. We are cooking up this morning because we have the honor of celebrating the 25th year that the preacher at Lindsay Lane Baptist yeah. Church has been there. Oh, thank you. Stanford up here at Ortho Sports and catch dust, he falls off his chair. He's up here in the basement. There you go. And Freddie, let me cover. Our connect, Sunday school leader. Good to have you, man. Glad to be here. Jim. Loves this. Over on set two, they. Y'all dating? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know that's legal now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I got two more guys coming to be here just a little bit too. So it's kind of a Lindsay Lane day. Good to see you, Greg. All dressed up. Good luck with your job here for you today. Thank you. Zach, <laughs> fire it up. I'm ready. This week, this time next week, I'll be out of here. Yeah, well, where are you going, Zach? Tell us. You're just biting, you know. Oh, yeah. I'll speed the Tuscaloosa out, man. Hanging out with Nick. What, how do you, you know? get in as assistant coach? Hanging out with Nick. Assistant coach. Yeah. <laughs> tell, coach tell Nick me and Dusty ask about it. I'll do. Yeah. What are you cooking? <laughs> We're doing some burritos today, Denver omelet style. Oh, okay. All right. Carlos, we had that Carlos is the newest member of the Lindsay Lane Choir. He sang for us yesterday. We got a lot of stuff going on today. I've got special Judge Jamie today. I made some questions. Even Dr. Stanford might not know the answer on. Uh-oh. But let's get this started. Hey, if the severe weather hits, don't watch us today. Watch somebody with weather. Like Channel 48, too, I'd recommend. Right, my buddy Brad Travis. I'm glad Here's I got Gloria to tell you all about the weekend weather forecast. That's right, and today could be a very severe weather day. 65 degrees out there already this morning. It feels quite nice, and that is what causes all the stir and the scary part for the bad weather. High temperatures today, you know, yesterday I think we did reach that 81 mark, which was quite nice, but 74 for your high today. Round three, four, five o'clock today is when they're uh, predicting that the bad weather may move on in. I know some schools are already closing. What? Yes, I did say that. <laughs> I mean, that was what in Lawrence County? More of that area. Oh, but, so they'll, they'll <laughs> probably experience it first. So just be ready to be called that schools may be closed today. Well, I said it first, but we'll see. High temperatures tomorrow, 69. Low cooler temperatures with that rain, but 45 for the low. And then the weekend should be all dried out, all nice, absolutely gorgeous Saturday and Sunday. And then rain again re returns next week. You know, two great Americans this weekend celebrate a wedding anniversary. Don't forget about Alan Coleman. Not Alan talk, Coleman. Talked to them yesterday. <laughs> he is not Lisa. retired, folks. He is still there. Lisa is still there. Call them. They have a new See, number, 774 You ain't the only one celebrating something big this weekend. <laughs> is that right? Big dog. That's right. <laughs> he is a big dog. No, I know. 25 years. 18 years, I put up with her. Oh, is that right? God bless you. God, God bless you, Gloria. Why is Grover? I don't know how he did it. Why is she getting the trophy? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> she got a, she got arm candy. <laughs> she got arm candy. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Stanford, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I got to tell you, William, me, Maddie, and Gloria made our first trip back to Bridge Street yesterday, since mm. right before you did my surgery. For you or who? No injuries. <laughs> no injuries. We went for me. No, we went for I was able to get out there and <laughs> he drove. walk. And uh, got to tell you, you did an excellent, excellent job on replacing my knee. Awesome. Thank you. Aww. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> back to 40. Back to yeah, 40. we got. Let's show that picture now too. Let's go. There's one picture. Notice I don't know why they covered me up right now. <laughs> That's a TMI right there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff's up here. Jay Sheriff, Jay Sheriff was up here one day. Said, Heard you had some problems. <laughs> said, he went back that? in. Everybody, they so everybody scares everybody at that at Dreyer. Mm -hmm. they scare. Man, you're going to have to go back in if you can't. Well, you need to bend it. Just work at it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mind it. I walked out of there. I said, let me do it myself. 
<laughs> Actually, I lied about that one. He did walk out. <laughs> hey, I do have a special birthday this morning. A friend of mine and Dusty's and one of the glory and I's best friend, Johnny Lee D's birthday is today. Birthday, Johnny, Johnny Lee birthday. D's over the pastor over at Cross Point Church in Madison, Alabama. Won the yeah. bit. Play it, Auburn. He did. Play it, Play it on the radio a lot. <laughs> 63 yeah. years old today. Johnny Lee D. Johnny Lee just a babe. You know whose yeah. birthday was yesterday, James? Who? Uh, one of your customers, Grayson Bailey. Oh, oh what? really? Grayson Bailey was yesterday. He's older than me and Greg, I think, so yeah. we graduated. Grayson Bailey. Old Grayson. He's he a good yard. one, too. He does my yard and landscaping. <laughs> so. <laughs> so he does ours, too. Yeah. Yeah. If Grayson Bailey ain't Grayson. doing your yard. <laughs> uh, 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 way it goes, Freddie. Uh, you got, well, Grayson... He your age or older? Uh, he's he graduated with me and Skip. He's a little younger than I am. Younger? Okay. Yeah, he's a little younger. What is it with telling everybody? You got any more photographs today? this morning before I forget? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, we don't right now. We're saving some photographs for you later as we celebrate your 20th <laughs> Yeah. Year. All right. That's what scares them. <laughs> we will say one thing. Nice. Though, we went to church yesterday at First Baptist called Joel in a level. I'm the young one in there. Hey, <laughs> I'm the young one. No, you know, yeah. <laughs> what did he tell us after the service about how many preachers stay in one zeros. place for 25 years? Point zero 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 one percent. You believe that? Uh, stay that right? as long I'm as we yeah. do. That's what an oddball you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take it. Couldn't Nobody else on. wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody else wanted the job. All right, let's take time out right now to go to sports. We've got a sponsor by Kentucky Fried Chicken. Here's Zach. <laughs> Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports, brought to you by KFC, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. Also, go to Herbs and More for any of your health care needs. Don't get money. Go see Abby for the manager special. And money. Monday is first Monday at Herbs and More. A lot of their items will be 30% off, correct? That's right. I got that right. 15 to 30% off. 15 to 30%. Off. So go see Abby and the gang, and they will hook you up. Go get you some MSM, I promise you. <laughs> just, just get you some. Uh, Alabama, crowded backfield, but I tell you what, that's a good thing to have, mate. Have it at Dusty. Have yeah, a lot is. of running backs, and you can put whoever you need to, but both Scarborough is not practicing this uh, sprint because of his leg. But him, Damian Harris, Najee Harris, Josh Jacobs, they had to move to Darius Townsend from Tanner. They moved him out to running back for a while. And uh, the defensive linemen are looking good. Did y'all know we got a, a Jamar King? He's 28 years old. <laughs> playing wow. for us. He might play, actually, this year. Uh, 28? 28 years old. Yeah, he's a Jeep coach. Still hope for me. Wow. There's hope. Yeah. Uh, got some eligibility left. Okay. Oh, yes, right. former Scottsburg quarterback Still now, Pennsylvania. Got to keep Stanford the quarterback in the MVP honors at the Atlanta opening. And Alabama has offered him, even though he's an Auburn legacy. But also, you know, the big story going around now, too, is Bear Bright's great-grandson, Everybody thinks he's a locked Alabama, but Clemson, and Notre Dame, and all schools are offering him. And this week, Ken, the final four, the ladies' final four is Friday, Stanford, South Carolina, and UConn against Mississippi well, State. Give out a shout out to my buddy China Campbell, that's her alma mater. Uh, then Saturday, the men's final four, Gonzaga, at South Carolina, and North Carolina to Oregon. I'm so, going South Carolina all the way. A lot of good ball. And one last time, James, we got it. I was wondering if this guy was kidding to you. <laughs> Probably. Hustle yeah. tight end receiver Will Cooper will be walking on as a preferred walk on at Alabama. He had Don't 500 receiving yards last year. So. <laughs> he is yeah. not. Yeah, he's walking on. Is he from New Hope? <laughs> he's from Huntsville High School. Oh, I don't know. Uh, hey, also, big day coming up this Saturday is opening day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This Saturday? Yeah, Open Day Baseball, we'll baseball. be there live. Mm -hmm. got top. thousands of kids to participate in this right here. Big, big deal. Yeah. And then on Easter weekend, they got a big egg hunt coming up. Ben Wiley's got that deal coming up, so we'll yeah, talk this about Saturday. that in a little later. All right, a couple other things going on, uh, but right now we'll take a break. We got all the pictures in. We do, we're ready. We'll come back. I got two other guys supposed to be here this morning. They're supposed to be here at 6. They didn't we're make it. But I don't know where they are. Oh, okay. Maybe they'll, they'll come be. in town and play Judge James. One of them's another church. Two of both of them church Both of them. They are. Jerry, I'm running late. Well, they're probably, yes, they say. They're probably those are <laughs> knew the pastor was here. And Ken yeah. Gardner, I'm also late this morning. Yeah. All right, with that in mind, let's take a break. Y'all, hang on. Jeff J. 
go, Justin. You remember how to play? Oh, this yeah. This is my music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our other two guys ain't showed up yet, but there's wrong answer, Dr. Stanford. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Right answer. Of course, you play for buying the sausages, but we also have, you can choose now, from also pork brains with milk gravy. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Always good at breakfast time. Right, Joseph? Oh, right. All right, here we go. All breakfast right, let me see. We're live this morning on Facebook. See y'all play as we celebrate Pastor Dustin back the more 20 feet. You think you'll be there in 25 years? I hope Probably. so. Probably. Yeah, okay. I, I hope so. We All right, yeah, everybody knows this story. Y'all heard it. According to Chef Mike Blakely's lead story. Oh, don't you. tell it. Pistol falls out of body cavity. That's what? How huh? is that? What? what was the guy arrested for? He was not oh, near no. in his own yard. Uh -huh. Public, Public intoxication. intoxication. In his own yard. Was it his own yard? He yes. lived He was trying to rob he was trying, They thought he was trying to break in. Yeah. It was his own house. He was yeah. at his own house. They Faces charged with oh, first word. degree promoting prison contraband, carrying a concealed weapon without a permit, and fourth degree Pre receiving yeah. stolen property. He oh. remains Pete Lamb in Limestone County Jail with a seventy-two hundred dollars He needs a few more offenses atta huh? attached to that. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> Who is the National Basketball High School Coach of the Year? Oh, Jack Dawes. Wow. Jack Dawes. What's his claim to fame? He coaches right now. With Petty. He's won four titles at four different schools in basketball. Oh wow. Huh. That's a good honor. All right, here we go. Who's what band is playing in Hartsel Friday night? Ooh wee. Travis Tree? No. Shenandoah. Shenandoah is the right answer, but here's a real question on that. <laughs> How many years ago did they start out? 1988. 35 years ago. 1988. How many years ago? 30, 33 years ago. I'll let you have it. Sounds good. 27 years ago. <laughs> There's a lead singer. <laughs> <laughs> 57-year-old lead singer is back with him who did our show multiple oh, times in Florida. Yes, wow. Marty Raver. Raver. Yeah. Locked his guitar in his truck one morning. We he had to go sure borrow did. one at 5 in the morning to get him home. Besides church on Cumberland Road, what was another one of their hits? Two Dozen Roses. Two Dozen Roses is the right answer. Two Dozen Roses. Sing it, Zach. Sunday in the okay. South. Okay, stop, Zach. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, Gloria. <laughs> oh, here's an easy one, easy one. What is Alabama State bird? Yellow. 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 Everybody knows that. But here's a real mosquito. question. About how many inches big is that average yellow hammer? Ten inches. Three. Six. Seven and a half. Four. Let you have it, Freddie. Twelve inches what? is the exact answer. Twelve inches. But wow. what does the <laughs> what is the big peckered bird known as? <laughs> Thanks, Brad. What does he peck? Uh -huh. Trees. <laughs> what does he peck? He's a wood Trees. Trees. I didn't say wood. <laughs> he spends his time pecking the ground Some for insects oh. and particular ants. Uh, How many oh. times per second does he peck? 14. 25. 25 times is the right answer. You see on this program, if somebody hits a hit north on Facebook yesterday, they said, Judge Jamie is an educational program. It is, man. Come on. <laughs> it is an educational program. Pam said that. All right, here we go. USA Today this right. morning. Travel ban. That's totally guess. Travel ban in the U.S. Immigration travel ban will cost us mm. in tourism what every uh, every two years? $188 a B, a B. Wow, that's it a will cost the United States eighteen billion in wow. in money. How much in foreign foreign tourism a year does the USA do? Most people billion. coming over here to get a knee operated on by Dr. Eric Stanford. But besides that, hundred billion. How much? Thirty billion. Two hundred and fifty billion dollars. My goodness. Good morning, Kathy. Buy a hotel. College, USA Today this morning. <laughs> college <laughs> basketball. What two coaches make seven million a year? Coach K. Caleb Hurry Coach and, K. K. Cal. Cal. and Patino. And Coach K is a wrong answer. No one knows that. Patino. Patino and Capillary. Capillary. Calipari. 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 Come on. <laughs> but here's the real question. Name one of the five lowest paid basketball coaches in America. The low, the five lowest. Lowest. What school do they coach at? College. Alabama. No. Auburn. No. 
Sanford. Right. Jack State. Troy Gonzalez. State. Oklahoma They State. make under 200000 a year. That'd be some small well, I can't live on that. Yeah, that's <laughs> North, South Dakota, South North Dakota, New Orleans, Jack State, He's Northern Kentucky, Jack State. and Mount St. Mary's. Jack State. Oh, USA oh, Today this morning, only Dr. Stanford would you know because he's probably been to all of them. What are the five best states to retire in? <laughs> Florida. San Diego. Hawaii. San Diego is not a state. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> no at all. What'd you say? Florida. Florida's a wrong answer. Not in the top five. Texas. Colorado. Texas. Colorado. Yeah. Tennessee. Tennessee. Colorado's one. Tennessee. California. Maine. Wrong. Maine. What is the number one state to retire in? Florida. Despite Florida. their cold weather. Maine. Massachusetts. Montana. Massachusetts. New York. Hey, say Massachusetts, Zach. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> Massachusetts. How? Oh, say it, Zach. Hello, Miss Nancy. Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> That's close enough. Good morning, New Hampshire Brandon. is the best state to retire in. New Hampshire. Wow. I wouldn't want to. Colorado. Why? Maine. Iowa. And Iowa. Minnesota, Iowa. 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 Yeah. What are the five worst places to retire in? Alabama. 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 Alabama is not one of them. Illinois, Mississippi, Mississippi, California, Virginia, New York. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mississippi is not one of them. Are you kidding me? Michigan, Alaska, Alaska, uh, Hawaii, West Virginia, <laughs> Arkansas, New Mexico, and Louisiana. If you went through Arkansas, you would understand why. Yeah. Here's one, here's one there. all you e-commerce people will know. USA Today this morning. What, are, what is the biggest untapped opportunity in e-commerce in e right now? Biggest untapped. Cyber security. Now we're all going what? to. Cyber security. Mm -hmm. Groceries. Groceries. Groceries right now. Amazon is starting a delivery thing mm -hmm. this weekend in Seattle. How many people use Amazon's mobile app every month to shop for groceries? Oh, groceries. Every month. Hundred million. Hundred million. Three thirty million. Hey, did you say a commercial now that you got with those Amazon Echoes? You can say Alexa, order me so and so, and they'll have it delivered within two hours to your mm -hmm. house. I ain't getting one of them Echo things. They might record something I don't want them to Until hear. Until the kids start <laughs> ordering. Yeah. You got one at your house? No. <laughs> well, Everybody said they you know love what them. they are. You talk that little yeah. thing and do everything yeah. for you. All right, here we go. Historians That's only. <laughs> Oh, talk to it and do everything for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Play a music for my wife. I got a question for that yes, too. Right <laughs> what happened on this oh, date God, in eighteen seventy? <laughs> Come on, history man. Eighteen seventy. Give he us a hint. Wide Earth got shot. Wide Earth got shot. The Fifteenth <laughs> Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which is what? Women vote. Fifteenth Amendment. Not women vote. Right. Men vote. Right. Women couldn't right. vote then. Yeah, that was right. 19. Prohibited denying citizens the right to vote and hold right. office on the basis of so, race. Race. Well, men could vote. Women couldn't women vote until vote. 40s, 30s, 40s, right? And they had to pay a poll cap tax back in the 50s to vote, didn't they? Mm -hmm. well, uh, also, history buffs. What, <laughs> other thing, who, what other person was shot on besides White Earp on this day in 1981? Billy the Kid. Jamie Cooper. Ronald Reagan. What, 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 1981. Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Reagan. Ronald Reagan was the right answer. <laughs> Boy, y'all are. <laughs> I didn't know you didn't get shot. Maybe I didn't do the. All right. Road. Only Dusty might know this one. Uh oh. Let's see. No pressure. Adam and Eve can teach us a lot about love. There's a new book out. Have you read it yet? Sound like something you'd write for Patsy. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who said this in spinning scripture? I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over man, for she must be quiet, for Adam was formed first, then Eve. Who justified that? Paul. Apostle Paul is yeah. the right answer. I gave you a opportunity in the world, actually. 
Hey, hey, can I, can I, give you I got let others. I'm, I'm about <laughs> others. <laughs> yeah. Coach Leg said he wanted to thank you for running the greatest show from 10 to 11. Yeah, that's right. Nine. That's exactly right. <laughs> Hold it. Wait a minute. Zach's got a special announcement. What? Uh, Coach Leg just said he wanted to thank you for running the greatest show ever from 10 to 11, Miami Vice. All right. Three <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you, Coach Leg. Met your sister in law the other day. She's prettier than you. Yeah. Yes, she is. <laughs> she runs the wellness center. Oh, I know that. She is. plays for Mississippi State basketball, too. She's on a crew. She's supposed to be back, right? Yes. All right, here we go. Let's Monday. move on to some hard questions. Mm. Uh -oh. Why was the Christian student Great. suspended from school this Where? week down at the Where? Christian uh, liberal school? Reading the Bible. Read, uh, wearing a shirt that had a Bible verse on it. Because his, his mm. Muslim professor said he was threatening her. Because here's what she said. He confronted her for saying the crucifixion was a hoax and Jesus' disciples didn't believe that he was God. What? Huh. And he got suspended wow. for got threatening suspended her. For that? That's a threat. After the Muslim students had said that all gays should be decapitated in class. Mm. But that's okay to say. Oh, my goodness. That's all wrong. I'm not a teacher. You do. <laughs> He's got no job interview today. I won't have those problems, teacher. Vanna White just turned 60 years old. No way. How long has well, she been hosting the Wheel of Fortune? 32 years. 38. 28. 38. 38. 35 years. 35. Watch How many this, dresses Danny. does she own? She's never worn the same one twice. 10,000. 15,000. 6,500. Oh, my goodness. What date was she in Playboy? What? 93. We're not going to answer it if we did. What was it, Dad? 93. May 87. Who has an autographed photograph right now that she signed in her, in her pajamas with Danny Vincent present? Jamie Cooper. Hey, we miss you, Danny. Get better. Jamie. Danny, Danny Blake, watching you at home this day. morning? Right, only you might know something John Wayne would have had. Oh. All right. They just found a pair of vintage Levi jeans from yes. 1893. Yes. Wow. Waist 44, length 36, in excellent condition. What will four. these jeans yeah. predicted to sell for? 10,000. 50,000. 100,000. 100,000. 300,000. 200,000. Half a million. 80. Thousand okay. dollars. We thought we were going higher jeans. for a pair yeah. of jeans. John. Zach, I got two questions. All right. Today's Bible verse is Psalms nineteen fourteen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, the Lord, my rock yes. and my redeemer. Hey. And I want to thank Jamie and Glory for letting me read Bible verses because yeah, you don't get to see that on <laughs> daily TV. Today's your last you know, day. So thank you. <laughs> Only one person on the set could afford this next thing. If you you're a doctor, a doctor. and Master. you're in excellent shape, you. Master. Now, he bought this for his wife, Lindy, for her birthday. Oh. <laughs> that got about his attention. To. Oh, about to. That's <laughs> close. <laughs> what is the price yeah. for the new Bugatti bicycle? The oh, world's God. lightest God. bicycle. Bicycle. Uh, They've only thousand. made 667 models of that. 10,000. 25,000. 25,000. 35,803 dollars. Hey, 30,000 How much does it weigh? <laughs> How much does it weigh? 18 pounds. 11 pounds. 11 pounds. Wow. Since none of y'all have... Hey, Zach, let me get control of the show. That's a vehicle. One last question. That's a nice one. What do the Ethiopian tribesmen of Bodhi have a competition once a year? Oh, no. What is rock throwing? The biggest nose ring. The big, big, <laughs> biggest what? The biggest nose ring. Eating snails. It's for men only. Is it eating contest or something else? Oh, boy. I'm not answering. No, I don't know either. All right. Who can become the fattest male? It is hero worship time. If you become the world's fattest male, oh, what do good. most of what do they have to do to oh. become the world's fattest male in their tribe? It's it's, yeah. it's a uh, drink something. Is, oh, is what do they drink? Oh, they can't have sex and can't leave their hut for six months. 
<laughs> Except on rare occasions. Drink buttermilk. Some urine. <laughs> Cow urine. <laughs> Y'all are so close. But, I'm going to let Dusty have it because today's a special. Y'all, you and him may have to split the milk brains. Uh -oh. <laughs> they drink, they have fresh cow's milk delivered to them and cow blood. They cow drink blood. that to become the fattest member of the tribe. Oh, oh, Dr. Oh, Sanford, oh, oh, today while you're at work, you can pass that along to your patients <laughs> and ask them. <laughs> Just go drink cow there. blood and cow milk. Before you do surgery. Ready to look like you need to put on a few pounds anyway. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, give me some of that cow. <laughs> you know, All right, we'll take a break. Carlos months. is cooking in the kitchen. Oh. We'll come back and talk to Dr. Stanford in just a second. Y'all hang on. morning. Let's quickly go over that forecast. Today is one of those weather aware days. Keep your eye on the weather. Don't let it escape you today. Actually, later in the afternoon to early morning, or not early morning, but later this evening, hours is when they're expecting the bad or severe weather, and they're talking about possible tornado, hail, all of that that comes with it, the severe wind, so just stay weather aware. High temperatures today of 74. Tomorrow, high temperatures of 69. The rain should be out of here with the weekend looking absolutely gorgeous, so just enjoy. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Temperatures are going to start to get better again, and everything should be well. Don't and forget. And Dr. Cole, we'll be sure yep. you spot with him next week. He is not we retired. Are. One of my bestest buds in the world. And he'll take good care of you, too. I still got all my teeth. Thanks, Al. <laughs> Thanks, Al. <laughs> and speaking of still having, got a brand new knee that works out absolutely excellent. Thank you, Dr. Stanford. Mm -hmm. You know, when you first came on here one day, I asked you about it, and you said, and I never will forget your advice. Well, you didn't say, come see me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You're not soliciting, but you said, you'll know when it's time. Right. Yes. You do. I tell patients uh, that will come in to see us from a variety of range of agents, <clears throat> but, you know, people hurt for a long time before they come see you usually. It's hardly ever, unless it's an acute injury from sports and they're a right. young person, but once you get to 50, 60-year-old, people don't come to the doctor unless they're really hurting. And, and you so, encourage people to try out the shots to give them the relief because sometimes it lasts quite a while before surgery is It does, you know. On I, its way. I mean, knee replacements are great. I, I think they're a lifesaver for the world. There's other things probably down the line, you know, 10, 15 years from now. Mm -hmm. We may not be doing it, maybe just all stem cells, who knows. But um, non-operative stuff will definitely mm -hmm. buy you time. And uh, at the same time, I've, we've got patients who's been doing it for years, and they may not need surgery. Until they get to the point where they're hurting and nothing else helps, you know. You know, it's like I told Maddie, my granddaughter. I said, you know, man, I, when I'd get down to clean the skimmers, that I couldn't, I could hardly get, get up. And now I said, if I have it done now, you know, by spring, I'll be good to go. And whatever you told me, everything was exactly right, right, right on good. target. And you know, you did an excellent Been doing job. Been Yeah. <laughs> huh? Lucky he knows what he's well, doing. I mean, there's a shot there. Well, I, I go back in, try to bend it, but uh, that's not as big a deal as you think it is. I mean, it don't. It, and some people do have to go back in if they have scar tissue. It is, they I'll need tell to you. Bend you know, it. and then when you look at somebody's range of motion, the, the bend of their knee beforehand, you know, afterwards it's hard to get past what you had before. And you can correct a lot of that, but and then when you scar in and get real stiff. And, and some people do it and some people don't. All right. The so, biggest thing I have to say, though, Jamie has complained about his knees or pain in his knees ever since I've known him. Yeah. He has not. Well, five knee surgeries. Yeah, he has. But, I mean, in, I mean, literally, I can say in the last, I mean, about after five weeks, six weeks, I would say after the eighth bad. week mark, I haven't heard him complain at all. I mean, that's it's good. even and I've got his other, other bad knee. Yeah, yeah, he's got a, yeah, his other knee's just not as bad, but right. it was bad. You know? Eventually, it's got to be done, too. If you look at your x-ray, you'd think he hurts, but right. he doesn't hurt. So. But there comes a time it could. Oh, there's, it's yeah, there's, right, somebody, there's coming a time. Somebody's watching today, Dr. Stanford. They're saying, well, my knee is <laughs> aching, too. What can I do? First thing they do is make an appointment, and make they can either see you or Dr. Lawrence, Dr. Boyette down there. 
I prefer this man myself. Yeah. <laughs> but they come up. Can they Personally ask for it? Recommend. Or do they just say who's next? Yeah, if you know, there's a lot of people who know all of us, and they you know will request one of us, and that's fine. Uh, if not, we just get them on the first available, and uh, everybody does a great job there, and mm -hmm. kind of shuffle them the right way. Basically, um, when you do the surgery, it's a two to three day in the hospital. Two to three days in the hospital. There's a uh, there's a lot of uh, talk about it on, on online too about outpatient, you know, joint replacements. Really? Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. I just recently did did one uh, like a partial knee replacement last week. It's just less than 23 hours stay in the hospital and you go home. And so hmm. there's a lot of talk about that. We did a little bit in our residency training. Uh, I think it's still a little bit down the line uh, for some things, but. Uh, but most of the time, a couple of days in the hospital and then go home. Now, when will the new facility be open right across from you guys? They say in about another year or so. so. But you won't There's be dirt to, moving. Now, There's you won't be able to do knee replacements there. Not there. You have to still do it at the hospital. Not still the do it at the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody's got a knee story. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everybody. If they've had it done. In therapy everywhere. Church therapy. Here's the <laughs> number one thing I hear about people that have had knee surgery. Doctor told me I had the worst knee they'd ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> right, true story. True story. I heard that line probably two thousand times as a resident. <laughs> Doctor told me I had the worst knee they'd ever seen, and he had ten of them that day. <laughs> That's right. But hey, so you've heard that too. Hey, Not they're ever. all bad if you're having to replace them. It is. I guess I mean, the worst worst and, knee that day. But it's like we all them said it Drake. Their worst knee. No two knee replacements are alike. They're Everybody's not. going to react differently and respond differently to that thing. I tell everybody in the first several, you know, if you think you take the first four to six weeks, everybody's different. And so you never try to compare yourself to somebody in therapy or in, on, in the grocery store because you don't know how bad their knee was before and you don't know, you don't even know where they're at in their rehab and recovery. Usually around four to six months, everybody meets back up and it's pretty much on the same line. 95 what happened to us at Walmart the other day, <laughs> last week? We had just left the gym, and we're going to Walmart, and, you know, he's getting out. And if he's in the car for a little while and he gets out, it takes him a little while. You go, Yeah, it does get stiff. So we're walking in. All of a sudden, the lady yells out, well, I see you're still limping. We bust out laughing. So we go inside. It, what, we weren't in there a minute, and there were three other people. How's your knee, Jamie? You know, I was thinking, yeah. why don't I just you leave you at Walmart? You guys have your own Walmart? dark world over here. Yeah. <laughs> But I've got to tell you, it, 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 well, if you if y'all are contemplating getting a knee replacement, go oh, see yeah. any of the guys at Ortho, especially Dr. Stanford. <laughs> see, I'm Superman for them. Yeah. But my knee was so bad, it you was embarrassing to even wear a pair of shorts. <laughs> you did have a bad deformity. Yeah, deformity. From several Listen years. To yeah. But why now, is it? Why I mean, is it the women seem to have more um, flexibility? Well, that's kind of a stupid question, but the women do actually do seem to do better bending. Their knee. Women will, and I, I think a lot of it has to do with muscle tone. I think a, a man's muscle tone is usually a little bit thicker, okay. and they'll fight it a lot. And women are tougher. I mean, but they, you just okay. don't do <laughs> knees. You don't knees, hips. I mean, we we do shoulders. Um, that's pretty much the joint replacements over at our place. I mean, there's some foot and ankle replacement stuff. Nobody at our clinic does that, but hip, knees, and shoulders. Uh, and then we do our sports, our arthroscopic outpatient surgeries. Well, I've got patients. to say, you guys have kind of got a monopoly. I could name you 20 people at Lindsay Lane Baptist Church has had a knee done, and you They've guys did them all over there. But I highly recommend you give Dr. Stanford a call or Ortho Sports. If you've got a knee that's bothering you, promise you, <laughs> three, six months, you'll never know you had it. Thank you, you for taking better, such good anyway. care of me. Yeah, I, I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing for giving me the opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. In just a second, or right, I'll give you a couple of minutes to run some commercials. We're coming <laughs> back talking about a preacher who has defied the odds of nature. It's because he's good. They couldn't find somebody to take his place, so that he had to keep no it. 25 years. Woo. We'll talk with him next, and a couple of church members. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> Alabama and my buddy Brad Stovall. He's got the Jeep in custody. Nice. That thing come back will be brand spanking. He said you're not going to recognize it. Y'all should have bought it when I gave you. All right, Joseph, what we got? <laughs> well, you didn't offer it to me. Why'd yeah. you offer me? 
No, I, he didn't know. It was I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm, I don't know. Well, yeah. I'm gonna keep it. Chris anyway. says, I don't need half the yeah, stuff. No I more got. vehicles. That's right. <laughs> uh, well, a couple car shows to talk about. One local and one if you want to take a road trip. Uh, Lori Edgman, you know, is down at uh, Whitesburg Baptist uh, Church or Whitesburg Baptist School. Christian well, Academy. Christian Academy. <laughs> Thank you, Dusty. Uh, I don't know my schools. That's, That's why he's been there forever. They've got a marketplace uh, event that they're doing with a lot of vendors. She told me yesterday over 40 vendors at this event, but they're in conjunction with that. They're having a show and shine car show. So there's the address. It's a $10 entry fee. All the proceeds go to the Whitesburg Christian Academy. Um, the vendors will be inside. They're having a pet uh, petting zoo, door prizes. Uh, they're really excited. Um, she's uh, wrangled in uh, Jason and Grayson to help her with parking and uh, a lot of volunteers for that. So y'all get out and check that out this weekend. And then if you want to take a road trip, uh, Coker Tire, uh, Corky Coker. I don't know if Corky you know him. Coker. That's Coker. his name. We need to get him on the show. He's a character. With a name like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, Coker Tire Company have a cruise in every year in Chattanooga. And I'm seriously, it is the largest, <laughs> largest cruise in in the southeast. Really? Last year they had over 2,000 vehicles at oh this show. Goodness. So if the weather's good and you want to take a road trip, head up to Chattanooga. You, you'll, you'll be you'll glad you went. It. Yeah. All right, if the weather's good, it should be this weekend. Let's talk about the 25th anniversary mm -hmm. of Dusty McLemore. Incredible. Ooh, How yes. on earth? Did you pull that off? <laughs> that was yeah. I know you yeah, got a big thing Saturday for yeah. you and Saturday night and stuff like that. You know, and this is actually, this invitation is for everyone, whether you go to Lindsay Lane or not, if you just know Dusty, if he's ever touched your life before, because you have, in 25 years, I mean, so many people know you. We just yeah. come first, say thanks. Were Jerry Lawler and Penny the first members? Because Jerry was going to be, I guess he overslept. Yeah. Were they the first members? They were. They were the first members for me when I got there in 1992. And so uh, uh, her mother was there, Barbara and Billy, of course, and then uh, they were the first ones to kind of walk down the aisle and join. How about Aww. that? Sure were. Now, Freddie, when I, did you join Lindsay Lane? Uh, in 2002. I've been there about 15 years. I'm going to get you to tell your story in just a second. But, but prior to that, Dusty, what did you do before 92? Before 92, I worked at Monsanto. Well, you weren't a preacher anyway. No, I wasn't Never a preacher. Never thought about being a preacher. Sure pastor. wouldn't. Still can't believe I'm a preacher. But, uh, <laughs> a lot of people, well, the people lot of people talk to you can't believe that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I worked for Monsanto for uh, nine years, and then I got laid off in 82 and went to uh, Steelcase. Well, it was a recession in 82, and I was uh, umpiring for the summer. I did that for the summer, and then I went to Tennessee. That was your full-time job? It was. Wow. It's all you could find. I'm telling you, it was a recession. Wow. It was on food stamps. What? Wow. Yes. I made you Patsy go up and get them. <laughs> <laughs> you were on food stamps. I was. 82. I sure was. Couldn't find a job. Never heard of that. Well, everybody kept telling me, man, you need to go up there. The guys that got laid off with me said, man, you need to go up there. You qualify. So I checked it out, and I did for about a month. There was a And it was, I umpired right. all it summer. It was, it was a recession. Now, at really the same good. time, were you thinking about being a preacher? No. <laughs> I but you, you'd already I had never your thought about but it. You were going to church, huh? How did you get that calling after you was unemployed on food stamps and umpire ball games to become a preacher? Well, then I went to Steel Case in 1983. Hired in there and worked there 11 years. From Leon Simmons. Leon Simmons hired, hired me everyone. in his living room, <laughs> and so uh, I worked there for 11 years. And then 1991 is when I got the call to preach. Did you believe I, it? I couldn't. I, but I knew God was messing with me. And, uh, and so I tried everything. I did everything in the Baptist church you could do but preach. And then that's what God wanted me to do. And I surrendered in 1991. Of course, everybody knows your story about being in the closet. Right. Uh, I wouldn't people money. <laughs> let's gambling clarify addiction. that. Yeah. yeah, let's clarify yeah. that. Got <laughs> he was a no. gambler. Got He's your book. Got your right. book. Gambling yeah. with eternity to lose your way. Life was a mess. Right. It was a mess. We got some pictures we'll share with you now from. Lindsay Lane Baptist Church. Is that That's when you started, started right there? That was it. That's the first building there. And uh, they didn't even have a shrub when we went. Patsy and I <laughs> planted, and uh, two or three others, D.W. Dawes, we planted those shrub there. And then we broke ground in 1993. We added a, uh, a family life center, a little family life center, and a, the, the uh, educational space. Mm. That's wow. it there, 1993. Todd Brown. Todd Brown, oh yeah, four deacons, Billy Neal, Todd Brown, Jim Ernest, and D.W. Dawes. <laughs> D.W. So Dawes was a deacon? He was. <clears throat> and then we added that in 19, uh, 2002, so we added the third sanctuary. 
And Even I'll for a pastor to grow that much and you know upgrade the facility and make it as large, you still manage to stay. Still manage to stay. That's right. That's why I got gray hair. But believe me. Right. Now the first yeah. wedding you did there. First oh. wedding I did was my daughter Haley. Mm -hmm. Well, let me uh, and read Chuck. The, <laughs> Chuck, I text Chuck. Chuck, can you send me a wedding picture? He says. No, no. <laughs> I look too ugly back in the end. He young. He said, he said I was he young, looked, dumb, and ugly. Goofy. I said, well, I'll just show the picture of you and your dog then. He said, do we have that photograph? He said, well, that'll be worse. He said, that's probably a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's in Arkansas. I'm, I'm, that's his, yeah. that was his, I think that's his new dog. I think so. Uh, yes, it's new yeah. dog. He said, that'd be worse. Yeah, that was sly. probably a Sunday. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Fine. <laughs> Freddie. Yeah. Freddie's our cadet group leader, Sunday, and our D group leader, Mine and Gloria's. And uh, we started in a men's group. I'd never been to Sunday school in my life. And Freddie started teaching. Dusty and I went in there. What has this man meant in your life? Well, um, I kind of had a similar background. I was addicted to alcohol and drugs, so I kind of related to Dusty on, on that level. But the thing that Dusty did for me is, is Dusty's real. Right. Uh, he preaches uh, right where we live. He's lived it. He shares his shortcomings, uh, and he, but he encourages us all to be real. And that's what, what I really like about Dusty also any time I've ever had questions or had issues in my own life, Dusty's always been available. I'll call him up, set up an appointment, and as a, a new Christian, it's important that you have godly leadership and mentors to, to guide you along because, as Dusty says, you've got a big bullseye on you uh, from the devil, uh, as new Christians do, and, and he's guided me through and helped me mature, and also his preaching. is uh, He's my favorite preacher after 15 <laughs> years. I've probably heard 1,400 different sermons, and mm -hmm. people ask me all the time, how did you learn so much about the Bible? Well, I read the Bible, but most of it came from his preaching. Where would you be today without needing someone like a Dusty McLemore. Well, I tell you, I know that God placed Dusty at Lindsay Lane Baptist Church, and for all of us, but specifically for me. Uh, and I'm not sure where I'd be, uh, to be honest with you, but not only Dusty, but the church also uh, became my family. Uh, when, when I stopped drinking and doing drugs, I left that all my family, I mean, all my friends, excuse me, and they became my new friends. And it didn't shock anybody where I'd been, and they just loved me despite my past and uh, helped me grow and mature as a Christian. You know, Jerry, Jerry Lawler shared a story how they, um, you were on vacation, he had a parent pass away, and you cut your vacation short and came back, and you know, just things like that that you've done for so many people. Yeah. That's what makes you even more Well, special. they've been good to me. Lindsay Lane has been just awesome. Uh, church to serve, church family, and so uh, you know. And, and Freddie's right; it's what it's about: helping one another, loving each other as a family. We are a family, and so it's been awesome. Joseph, you got a story to share? Well, we came to Lindsay Lane uh, when they were in the first sanctuary. Carissa and I had just gotten married by Brother Fred Lackey at First Baptist, and we were kind of playing church. And we decided to draw a line in the sand and let's get real. Let's, let's try to change churches, kind of st start fresh. You know, we were newlyweds. So we visited Lindsay Lane and came to a Valentine banquet. Carissa's parents were, were visiting, or actually they were members at Lindsay Lane. And, and wow, we just loved everybody. And Dusty preached, I want to say one of the first sermons we were there, you pulled a rod and reel out from behind the pulpit, <laughs> yeah. and he cast it down the aisle, and his sermon was that, the devil knows your weakness. A fisherman knows what the bait he needs to use for that to fish to catch him. Yeah. And he, he equated that sermon to the devil. If, if your problem is anger, he's going to throw that anger bait at you. If my problem is, uh, you know, whatever, drinking, he's going to throw that alcohol bait at you. You never man. forgot it. Never forgot that sermon. That was the sermon Randy powerful. Brown got saved in. Oh, yeah. I was going to say something about Randy. Tell that yes. story. He was, a, he was my neighbor. He and and at fish. the end, he pulled out a mounted bass, and he said, don't let the devil have you mounted, yeah. you know. Oh, oh it was right. good. Look, I got chill bumps. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think good like that anymore? I don't know. Oh, I used to use a lot of visual aid things. I've, I've, I've done we character. We saw you on the 
motorcycle when you drove the yeah, motorcycle. Yeah, the little moped. Yeah, the little moped. I've done some characters, came out as characters. That's great did that before. You know, Freddie, go back to something you said. Every time I look at my phone <laughs> during the week on text, 90 something percent of everybody, and I never You're got involved in Sunday school before. I love Johnny Lee Dee's death, went to church with him forever. Mm -hmm. But never went to Sunday as a church member. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. So what is your greatest memory or fondest thing you'd like to say about Lindsay Lane Baptist Church? Besides the word. Oh, how do you do that? Yeah, y'all right up there. Besides baptizing you. I think we have another one, Jamie. Baptizing you right up in the top five. You didn't hold them down long enough. They were just like 53. Oh, speaking of that, man. There it is right there. That was an awesome time. It really was. And I've had a lot of those. Abby, my mother. I mean, there's so many people. That's you know, great. one of the one of the highlights that, that really t touched me was when uh, Dr. Earl Trent walked down the aisle and said he wanted to be a member of Lindsay Lane. Wow. He, he was there when I when I got there. He's like 87 years old, just like a Moses. And for him to come <laughs> down and say he wanted to be a member at that time in my ministry I hadn't been there long. It really, really meant so much to me. I was just in awe of that. But there's been a lot of memories I couldn't begin to tell all what of What does your mama think? She comes every Sunday mm -hmm. about Dusty, her youngest, being a Baptist preacher for 25. I know your brother <laughs> likes a preacher too. But. She said there is a God. <laughs> there is a God. Uh, you know, and I've heard you talk about that she said the, the prayers of a mother. Right. And those years that you were struggling and, and, yeah. and going through all the things you went through, she kept on praying, yeah. trusting the Lord, That's and look right. how it turned out. That's right. Uh, That's I heard awesome. a rumor the other day, and I know it's not true. Some somebody didn't go to church with us, but I do have to ask you this. When will you retire? <laughs> or are you even thinking about it? Somebody said they think that Dusty's about ready to quit. I, I, like, I don't, I don't think, think so. No, I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. I've, I've contemplated some things, just looked at it. Because, you know, you want to plan. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love Lindsey Lane. I want Lindsey Lane <clears throat> to be in good hands when I do retire. And so I've, I've thought about those kind of things, but I don't, you know, I'm thinking five years or something like that maybe. You're still young. Somewhere around there. Five years? Y'all heard it. Dusty's leaving Lindsey Lane no. in five years. Oh, no. No. I said about, I don't know. I, I don't really know. You did not say it? But well, I did. You know, back I, the table. You got to look at that. <laughs> well, you got to look at it. You know, I got to look at it and think about it and pray about it. But You, you can't know, play I, golf I'm all I'm in good time. shape right now yeah, and feel like, you know, the, the, the criteria for me as long as I'm effective, as long as we're growing Amen. and I'm making a difference, then, I, you know, God can use me. But there'll be a time. Well, we are accepting new members. Oh, yeah. Every, every, week. every week. Every week. So. Every day. Well, I just want to say congratulations yeah. on 25 yeah. years. That's a long time. I've done the same thing forever myself, but nothing like you've yeah. done. Yeah. But, uh, thank you for turning our life around and making yeah. us better people. Well, thank you Amen. all. And Freddie, Amen. anything Amen. you want to say, man? Uh, I'm surprised just, you ain't got teary-eyed. I know. Oh, he dude. usually makes us all well, cry. Well, I tried to compose myself uh, <laughs> this morning because he does mean that much to me. He, mm -hmm. I tell him all the time he's my hero. Mm -hmm. and he's my, <laughs> uh, Jesus is the ultimate hero. Right. But next yeah. to him, since my dad passed, mm -hmm. he's my hero. Amen. Mm -hmm. Dusty, congratulations. Well, Mike. Jamie, let me say this to you and Glory and all you guys here. Y'all are making a difference here. You, you don't really understand or realize the impact that you're making, the things you say about the church and about the Lord. You know, like somebody mentioned earlier, you just don't hear that much in, on TV. And I just appreciate y'all. Y'all are real. God's you know, not what you see is what you either. get. <laughs> hey, since I, I got saved and baptized, I'm a whole lot realer. Right. All right, y'all come out uh, Saturday Thank down at Athens State, State from 2 to 4. Yes, from 2 to 4, to four. Athens State Ballroom. This is open to everyone, not just Lindsay Lane members. If you even know Dusty, just stop And y'all come to church this Sunday. We'd love to have you. There's always There's room, room up, up front. front. Hey, <laughs> see y'all Sunday at Lindsay Lane Baptist Church. We got to go. Have a great Bye. weekend. Bye. <laughs>